Um, now, Peter Malinaskis, of course, is on his way to potentially becoming the next uh, South Australian Premier, which I'm happy with because supercars will be back. Adelaide 500, I know that pisses some off, but if you saw Stephen Marshall with Chris Kenny today where he referred to pockets of people who supported that event. Big fella, it's hundreds of thousands of people who go to that event each and every year, so enjoy what might be coming your way on Saturday, Marshmallow. But Malinowskis, I think, gave one of the best performances I've ever seen in one of those people's forums because guess what? One of the joys when you're an opposition leader is, of course, you don't have to defend much, which means you can attack a lot. But somebody who knows how to connect to people who've never voted for you before is somebody who can turn around and say, yeah, I'm not going to say what politicians are supposed to say here. It's a level of authenticity. I don't know the bloke from a bar of soap. But this is what he had to say when the question of cost of living came up. And think of how many times you have heard cost of living, cost of living, cost of living, because the media consider it to be a direct shiv on the federal government. Well, here's a bloke who is about to potentially win an election, who could have gone for the final blow to say, if you elect me, it's all about the cost of living. This is what he said. He told truth to a room of voters. I think Australians are sick of hearing politicians promise that they're going to reduce the prices of groceries. They're going to reduce the prices of petrol. Never happens. The Premier doesn't control the petrol price. If I become Premier, I'm not going to control the petrol price. Hello, freaking <laughs> uh, On the other side of things, this would be the way Each Way Albo tweeted in the past 24 hours. Everything's going up. A Labor government will lower the cost of living. So which do you think is telling the truth? The bloke who might be about to become the Premier or the bloke who might be about to become the Prime Minister?